Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Annika from Glitter Girls and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own unicorn slime. This is super exciting. I'm going to show you how to make your very own slime from scratch and it's going to be super, super pretty. You can go follow us on Instagram at glittergirls.slime where I also sell my slime. You can DM me or message 074-230-7741 to order. I will also link that down in the description. So let's get right into the video. So firstly, I'm going to show you all the ingredients and utensils you're going to need to make your super duper awesome cool unicorn slime. So firstly, you're going to need a container of course, and you're going to use this to mix your slime in. And then you're also going to need 150 milliliters of clear glue or five ounces. You can use any type of clear glue for this. I chose to use Alma's clear glue. I prefer using Alma's clear glue for my clear slimes, but you can use any clear glue that you prefer. And then thirdly, you're going to need some food coloring. For this unicorn slime tutorial, you're going to need pink, blue and purple food coloring. You can also use paint instead. I didn't have purple, so I just chose that I'm going to mix my pink and blue food coloring for the purple part of the slime. And then the fourth thing that you are going to need is a mixing utensil. You can use a spoon or a spatula like I used here. And then lastly, and very importantly, you're going to need some activator. My activator solution is one teaspoon of borax powder dissolved in one cup of water, which is 250 milliliters. I find that this recipe for activator works best and buy borax powder at most local pharmacies. I usually buy mine at Diskim or Clix and I usually add the solution into a squeezy bottle like in this clip. So now that we have all our ingredients, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step to making our beautiful clear slime is adding our clear glue to our container. I'm going to add the entire Alma's glue bottle to my container. Now that all our glue is inside our container, we are going to go ahead with our activator. Firstly, you're going to add a few drops, very little drops, into your glue solution. Then you're going to grab your mixing utensil and just mix that activator into your glue. Once the first batch of activator is mixed in, then you just go ahead and grab your activator again and add some more. You're going to repeat this step until your slime starts to pull away from the containers. But right now we are quite far from that step and we are just going to continue adding 2 to 3 drops of activator into our container and just continue mixing that into the glue. As you continue adding activator into your glue you will see that your slime is starting to form and that your glue is starting to clump up and become thicker and thicker this is a good sign and a sign of progress this step can be quite time consuming while you add activator and mix again but just continue doing this until your slime starts to make clumps And finally, after a few minutes, you can see my slime started pulling away from the side of the container. I then added a few drops of activator to my hands and pulled the slime off the mixing utensil. Now I'm going to go ahead and start kneading my slime. Don't worry if your slime is not the texture you want it to be yet. 
it is going to stick to your hands a bit but just continue adding activator onto your hands and kneading and eventually you'll get there and your slime will feel perfect. slime is finally not sticking to my hands anymore and I'm just stretching and poking it so that the activator will just completely mix in. So now that my slime is the texture I want it to be, I'm going to take the clear slime blob and divide it up into three pieces. Each of these three pieces we're going to color a different color. The first one I colored blue, I only added about one drop of food coloring to the slime and then I just mixed it by stretching and poking. And here is the final blue color, I love how it turned out, so pretty. And next up we have our pink blob, so I chose to use pink paint that I'm showing in this clip now. But I also had pink food colouring on hand. I just like the colour of the pink paint more. But you can use any one you like, food colouring or paint. This is how my pink blob turned out. And I also only added about one drop of the paint. And if you use food colouring, also add about one drop. And next up we have purple. As I mentioned earlier, I do not have purple food coloring, so I just used one drop of the pink paint and one drop of blue food coloring. And then I just mix the color in and this swirl looks so 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 pretty. And then my end purple color came out so pretty, I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed that little transition I did there but here we have our three blobs and this unicorn slime is going to be a crunchy slime so you're going to need some styrofoam beads and you can buy these styrofoam beads at your local stationery store I bought these at store and more but I know PNA also sells them and these can also be any size you like. They can be big or small. I chose about medium sized beads. So now that we have our blobs we're going on onto the next step. So to make our super duper cool unicorn crunchy slime you're going to have to take your blobs and then just dip it into the styrofoam beads. The slime will then pick up some of the beads as it sticks to it. Then you just have to stretch and knead the beads into it to form a crunchy slime. And I love how our pink slime turned out. So next up we have our blue blob. We're just going to repeat the step I mentioned earlier by dipping the slime into the styrofoam beads and then just picking it up and then you will see the styrofoam beads will stick to it. Then you just knead and stretch and I find this process very satisfying. I love crunchy slime, it's one of my favorite textures. And lastly we have our purple blob. Now we're just going to repeat this step I mentioned earlier and this slime and the color was just so pretty I love it so here's our final blobs how awesome I did that transition again and I absolutely love the texture that uh, the crunchy slime came out and I think you guys are also going to love your unicorn slime once you make it the pink, blue and purple color combination just fits so well perfectly and it just resembles a unicorn for me. It just makes me think about unicorns and rainbows. So I hope you guys love your unicorn slime too. We're almost done. Now we're going to do the last step. So now we're just going to grab our handy dandy container again and I'm just going to add the individual blobs of crunchy slime into the container to form my unicorn slime 
and I'm not going to swirl these colors I'm going to separate them each individually and then just squish into the top and then after you let it sit for a few hours or a day, then you will see the colors mix into this beautiful ombre effect. I just love it. Just look how beautiful our unicorn slime turned out. I love it. Unicorn slime is my favorite and I think this is going to have an amazing texture. I can't wait to let it sit for about two hours and then I'm just going to play with it. I am super super excited. Oh yes and don't forget to add your load to your airtight container otherwise your slime will dry out. Here is my slime after a few hours of just letting it sit. If you followed my steps, your slime should ju look just like this and I'm super excited to play with it. Just look at the beautiful ombre swirl and unicorn effect and the colors are just so beautiful. As you can see the foam beads right to the top which will give an awesome crunch when you play with it. This is the prettiest slime I've ever seen or made and I really really can't wait to play with it. Wow, wow, wow. Just look how beautiful this slime is and has an amazing texture. I just love it. Unitastic. This slime is super stretchy and was super easy to make. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and following the unicorn slime tutorial comment down below if you made your very own unicorn slime using this recipe and if you made it please post a photo on instagram and tag us so that i can see your beautiful unicorn creations Please like, subscribe and comment and follow us on our Instagram at glittergirls.slime and thank you guys so much for watching and I really really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did and I really just love unicorns and all thing magic so thank you guys so much for watching we have so 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 many new products and exciting things we're going to launch soon which i really can't wait for and i hope you guys really enjoyed so go keep yourself updated on our instagram on our youtube to see what we are going to do next and don't forget about our newest product our Halloween slime kit. It has been selling like crazy, so snatch yours while it's still in stock. This is such a fun kit and will satisfy all your slime needs. It will keep any kid busy for hours and it's just so much fun to assemble and mix the pre-made slime. It's completely mess-free and just super, super fun. I love it and it's so cute. You get so much for such low price. It's very high quality and value and I career nationwide. So please, as I mentioned earlier, DM or message me to order. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye unicorn.